Misfiring on his last four attempts. Ricky Ray won for his last six. And they go to Damien Anderson. Tripped up as he gets to the 40-yard line. John Chick got to his ankles. Close to five for Damien Anderson. Ricky Ray using crossing routes in the offense, jumping the ball off to Fred Stamps. He's hit Kamau Peterson underneath as well. And you know sometimes the the progression for an offense when you're when you're throwing the ball short, dumping it over the middle, you're hoping that the defensive secondary will start to snug up a little bit. And that's when you can make the double move and try and get behind him. Second and five. Empty backfield, three-man rush, and in behind covered Jason Tucker. Got behind Sean Lucas, down to the 35. Well, you hope that they snug up. You hope that when you throw those crossing routes in the first half, that the secondary will start to jump some of them, and that's when you try and spring a guy like Jason Tucker, who has made a living off the corner route, and he is in behind Sean Lucas, the matchup on a tweener in Sean Lucas, who the linebacker slash defensive back, and he is in behind him. He had to bend way backwards to make the catch, or he may be gone. He may be gone for a touchdown. Tucker in behind, and you were in the huddle. <laughs> for a big play, 33 to Jason Tucker. Bunch formation, short side of the field, shovel pass, Calvin McCarty. And Maurice Lloyd with the tackle. McCarty to the 29. Close to nine yards for the Burnaby product in his second year. Calvin McCarty with his only touchdown last year. A highlight reel catch against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. A little bit of a drive just like the way this game started with Ricky Ray putting together a nice long drive. The first first drive of this football game was a seven minuter by the Eskimos that resulted in a field goal. Second and a yard, Ray off the left side, flags down, he'll have the first. Some movement down in the trench and either offside or procedure. And it looks like the Rough Riders may have jumped the gun. They did, offside, Saskatchewan. It usually is. The defense is often trying to anticipate Off the snap side. count. Saskatchewan number 47, five-yard penalty, first down. Maurice Lloyd called there. And they can, then again, linebackers Anton McKenzie and Maurice Lloyd trying to time it up so they can go up over the pile. And just were a little early, jump the gun. The guys in the panel mentioned, though, this is where they haven't been able to finish off. There's a problem last year. Let's see what they do here. First down at the 24. Way underneath and an open man. And Campbell with another catch and a first down to the nine before he's brought down by Lucas and Johnson. So Kelly Campbell, the newcomer, and they felt that people like Stamps and Campbell could help open up Jason Tucker a little more. Yeah, that's that crossing route that we saw a lot of in the first quarter. And if you get Kelly Campbell, who you mentioned, people are saying had the Ed Hervey type of speed, if not better. If you can get him in that kind of crossing route, now he can get outside those linebackers like Sean Lucas in a hurry. Too many men in the huddle and a penalty against the Eskimos costly inside the 10 yard line here. This is the, the part in the field where when you go back to 06 and 2005 with Ricky Ray and Jason Tucker. Illegal substitution, Edmonton, 13 men in the formation. This is a 10 yard penalty, still first down. You go back to 06 and 05, when you get down in this part, you talked about they've had some problems last year and, and this game getting in the end zone. This is where Tucker used to try and run that corner run. First and goal from the 19 after the penalty. Bunch to the short side. He looks that way. McCarty out of the backfield and he's pushed out at the 14 yard line. So five there. Third trip inside the 20 for the Eskimos. Go back to 06, Chris. And, and this is where what Ricky Ray would like to do is he'd like to get Jason Tucker. He'd like to get him out here somewhere 
either short side or wide side doesn't matter and then what he does he runs this this route right like that and in 06 and 05 that was their touchdown play it's called the corner route because the receiver from